Famous for bourbon, horse racing, and old money, Lexington, Kentucky is one of the best cities to visit when you find yourself traveling through the bluegrass state. It's been called the horse capital of the world, but it's also home to a wealth of American history and natural beauty. Join Vucation as we go over the best things to do in Lexington, Kentucky. Kentucky Horse Park this operating horse farm is also a theme park and the venue that hosts the High Hope Steeplechase event held on the third Sunday in May every year. Visitors to the park can learn all about the rich history of horses and the relationships that humans have historically cultivated with them while touring the park's four museums. There are also numerous statues, memorials, and other landmarks to discover. The park regularly plays host to several shows, demonstrations, and presentations from some of the top prize-winning horses that call the property's Hall of Champions their home. Visitors can go horseback riding along a series of well-manicured trails. Younger guests can take a pony ride or participate in a number of different hands-on activities designed to educate themselves about all things equestrian. The park also boasts a campground, but for those not interested in sleeping under the stars, there are quite a few hotels located nearby. Headley Whitney Museum this museum first opened its doors in 1968. It was originally meant as a private gallery built to showcase the museum's founder's creations. Jeweler George Headley III and his wife Barbara were talented at their craft. And today, the museum is home to various collections of jewelry and semi-precious stones collected, mounted, and designed by them. There's also an impressive display of antique dollhouses designed by artisans for Headley and Whitney's daughter. On top of that, the museum is home to the creative couple's vast collection of fine and decorative art pieces collected on their travels around the globe. Children and adults can participate in workshops designed to develop skills like jewelry making and flower arrangement. It's worth noting, however, that the museum is not open year-round and closes during the winter months. Before we tell you more about the best things to do in Lexington, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Raven Run Nature Sanctuary this nature sanctuary is the perfect place to spend the day hiking and wildlife viewing. It's also an excellent destination for those looking to spend a little time in the great outdoors while enjoying themselves and getting lost in the glory of Mother Nature. The sanctuary has a very effective method of organizing its many trails. Each trail is designated with a color code indicating its type and difficulty level. Regardless of which one you take, you can expect a unique and satisfying experience. When hiking through the sanctuary's trails, you'll see sites like the Kentucky River Overlook, the Prather Homestead, and the Evans Mill. To ensure that it remains pristine, please remember to pack out everything that you pack in so as not to disrupt the delicate balance of nature. The Lexington Brewing and Distilling Company Established in 1999, this fantastic distillery and brewery produces a wide variety of craft beers, seltzers, malt beverages, spirits, and of course, whiskey. A tour through the facility takes you through the complex brewing and distilling process and includes several tasting tokens you can redeem to sample some of the products you see being made. It's the only location along the famed Kentucky Bourbon Trail where visitors can sample both bourbon and beer. After wrapping your tour, you can enjoy a pint of your favorite brew over at the beer garden. You can also pick up a bottle of your drink of choice at the brewery and distillery shop. Keeneland Racecourse Keeneland is one of the world's most famous and renowned racecourses, as well as an auction house. If you've never had the chance of watching a live racehorse before, this can be a great place to experience this Kentucky tradition firsthand while maybe even placing a little bet. By visiting Keeneland's auction house, you can learn about the process of buying and selling racehorses. If you're curious about the sport's history, consider taking a guided or self-guided tour of the Immaculate Grounds. While touring the facility, you'll witness morning workouts, get to visit the jockey quarters, and much more. If Keeneland is high up on your list of reasons to visit Lexington, you can always book a night or two at a nearby hotel like the 8th Pole Inn or the Origin Hotel Lexington. The Kentucky Castle This famous landmark, located in the nearby town of Versailles, Kentucky, was first built as a private residence. Also known as Martin Castle, Castle Post, and Versailles Castle, this seemingly out-of-place structure was built in 1969 by eccentric real estate developer Rex Martin for his wife Caroline. After they divorced, the castle was left in an unfinished state. Since then, it's changed hands several times and underwent a major renovation in 2004. Today, it operates as a luxury bed and breakfast hotel and specialty functions venue. The castle regularly hosts weddings, business conventions, and even has an operational farm-to-table restaurant inside. 
tours are available upon request. Festival of the Bluegrass What's a visit to Kentucky without a dose of bluegrass music? This festival is the oldest bluegrass festival in the region. The genre remains incredibly popular, especially with people from the Appalachian region. The festival has been taking place every year since 1974. The Cornette family keeps the time-honored tradition alive. If you want to attend the musical event, it's held annually on the first weekend of June. University of Kentucky Art Museum this award-winning museum is part of the University of Kentucky's College of Fine Arts. Visitors are encouraged to learn about the various styles of art from many different cultural backgrounds and historical eras. The museum is proud of the fact that they have more than 5,000 objects in their permanent collection. The curators do their due diligence to promote diversity and appreciation of art from many different perspectives. It's open Tuesday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. On Saturdays, it's open from noon to 5. Admission is free, making it one of the best places to go on a rainy afternoon. Aviation Museum of Kentucky if you're a fan of aeroscience and want to check out something unique, consider visiting the Aviation Museum of Kentucky. The museum promotes the aviation industry in Kentucky by serving as a focal point for educating the masses about aviation history. There are numerous educational programs, exhibits, and tours on offer for guests to become more acquainted with the ins and outs of the world of flight. Visitors can attend a group tour, virtual tour, or take a self-guided tour of the facility. Woodford Reserve Distillery Located in Versailles, not far from the Kentucky Castle, is this world-famous whiskey distillery. While established under its current name in 1996, distilling has been taking place on-site since 1812, making it one of the longest operating distilleries in the Bluegrass State. Guests can sign up for an immersive and thought-provoking 70-minute tour. You'll learn all about the history of the distillery while discovering what makes Woodford Reserve so interesting. And yes, of course, at the end of your tour, you'll have a chance to taste craft bourbon to see what the hype is about. They also put out a 30-minute tasting program where you'll get to taste five distinct samples. Tours are booked about three months in advance at the moment, so be sure to sign up early. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Lexington, Kentucky? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.